Welcome back everybody, Gaming Grandpa here. This is episode 4 and the final episode for the arcade series, Dig Dug. I actually 100%ed it last night. Just like the Centurion achievement, what I was trying to do was show you the last part of the game before the achievement popped. Uh, however, I lost count of how many spaces I had actually dug and it ended up popping before I could actually make the video. So unfortunately I can't show you that popping, but you can see that I indeed I did indeed complete the game. There's a thousand points. Now the Rambler and the Centurion, they have to be done in one playthrough. I know there's a lot of guides and a lot of tips out there on how to do saves and checkpoints and all this stuff. It, you don't need to do that. Alright, you just need to concentrate on one of these at a time. The Rambler is the one where you have to dig a thousand spaces and the rock and roll is the one where you have to I'm sorry the centurion is the one that you have to defeat a hundred enemies in one playthrough what I would recommend is do one at a time I did centurion first because if you're concentrating on digging to try to get both of them at the same time it, it's gonna mess you up and cause you headaches and you're gonna end up having to restart more often than not so what I recommend is just picking one and go for it now the centurion I will tell you that it unlocked for me once I finished level 15 by the time you finish level 15 there's a total of 101 enemies that you could have killed but I only did 100 because one escaped so nonetheless it still unlocked once level 16 started the achievement pop now the watermelon tomato and pineapple those are the vegetables and fruits that you get by dropping two rocks on different levels the pineapple was the last one that I got and that was level 18 and 19 so the furthest level you're gonna have to complete on this game is level 18 I actually had to go 19 because I missed the fruit because the enemies just came at me like crazy and I never could get it it's also helpful if you have the settings set up so that you can play from the last level that you wanted or you can play any level that you want that you've completed already see I could do level 19 if I want to or level 18 so this one here is once again you have to do two rocks and I have five lives set for my settings so use all your lives go ahead and kill what enemies you can because they're gonna come at you and drop the rocks the best you can and it's a pain see they, they come after you but I have five lives so we're good and I had one rock already now you gotta be careful because alright that's good he'll run away and there's a pineapple and that's all you gotta do <clears throat> and that will unlock that achievement for the pineapple now the other one I believe was level 10 and 11 I believe that was the other one I was missing the tomato the watermelon I think is level 13 or something like that I can't remember but once again go around and kill them and you'll die but the important thing is you want to make sure that you get the two rocks. I haven't dropped any yet, and that's okay. Once again, it's okay. Your main goal on these is to try to get the rocks dropped. <clears throat> There's a tomato. And I got it. So that's all you want to do. You can go ahead and finish the level if you want. And yeah, these stupid little flames or dragons, I forget about them. But anyway, nonetheless, I got it done. And that's the level. Now, the Rambler for me and I'm going to show you real quick what I did. I'm going to start at level one. And it didn't unlock until I finished level 10 for the thousand spaces. You get roughly 10 points for every space you choose, you dig through. 
So that might be able to help you a little bit and you get so many points for the enemies. But what you want to do on the early levels is kill as many as you can. Or kill two as quick as you can for the most part. And then you just want to kind of just go around and you want to dig holes. And there's a lot of guides, a lot of tips and walkthroughs and... You know, it is what it is on this one, but just you want to eat as much as you can or chew up as much as you can on the early levels because when they get to level, like level 7 and 8, I don't think I even was able to hardly dig anything because the enemies just swarm after you so quick. But you want to leave at least two on here. And the reason for that is because anything less than two, they're going to run away from you. So you want to keep at least two alive. There were some times when I actually just went ahead and would not kill any of them. And then I would just keep running. Now, if you kill that last guy, that's okay. Let him run away and go ahead and go ahead and dig some more. You know, but like I said, you want to get as much as you can done on these early levels. Because it just makes it so much easier. It's probably going to kill one. Nope. Oh, well. See, you don't get points for them. Only through these pathways here. So the what's left over at the skinny parts, you don't get points for them. See, watch. I'm not getting any points for these. So only this way and this way, you'll get the points. So anyhow, just try to get as much as you can done. And if you die, you die. It's all right. There's also an achievement to clear the entire board. But these are the easiest ones to get done with. All right, now see, he's he's gone away and he's running away. So just knock out what you can. But that's what you do and just keep doing it over and over until you get it. It might take you five or six tries. The game overall took me about an hour and a half to complete. And you get a free point or a free life every uh, 20,000 I believe. So you do want to kill some enemies. The problem with leaving the two dragons alive is they can get you and they can hit you with fire. But try to get as many points as you can also so you can help get to that 20,000. I think my score was like 40 something by the time I got done with it because you do have to kill some enemies. I mean, you're going to have to to clear the, the round, but you just want to kind of go through and kill what you can. And like I said, you want to take advantage of this. Now, the dragon usually will stay around a little bit longer and fire their flames. They don't rush immediately for the exit. And as I'm saying that, he rushes. <laughs> See, I didn't get that many, but like I said, just keep going and eventually it will unlock for you. And that pretty much takes care of that. It's one of the easier thousand point games you can complete. It took less than two hours. Like I said, just my, my advice is to start the game and just try to get as high of level as you can and try to get all the vegetables and fruits that you can. And don't worry about the four and the, the two enemies squished by a rock because that comes at the farther up you get in levels, like level 10 and on. There's a lot of times you're going to have four and five enemies following you at one time, and you'll just end up getting it. You know, you don't have to try to get it in the early levels. Just I wouldn't even worry about it. I just popped mine, you know, when I was trying to go for the four, when it just popped naturally. I didn't even have to really work at it, you know. And then... Once you get as high as you can on your level, <coughs> excuse me, then that's when you want to come back and nail your individual achievements, like get your different vegetables and stuff. But other than that, it was it's a pretty fun game. I enjoy it. Now, there is an arcade game for Dig Dug that was from the 360 that I'm going to be playing later too, but it's only worth 200 points. 
but this one's worth a full thousand so you might as well take advantage of it and get to thousand but anyhow that takes care of this one i will probably have a walk a wrap up like i do for every other game just so you can kind of see some cool details but other than that this game is done and thank you for watching and have a good day